So I got asked what I think about Carl Anthony Towns on Shannon Sharp saying that LeBron James was the greatest player ever and the most skilled. <laughs> hmm. Now, if he's the best you've ever seen, you can speak for your era and your time and you played on the court. So I can't really, I can't sit there and knock someone for what they consider the best ever in terms of what they saw. Because Anthony Davis said the same thing, but he's bought and paid by Clutch Sports, but he's, that's what he saw. I can't argue that. When you say someone's the most skilled player, I have to put an asterisk by you. I have to call you out on that cap. I have to call you out and tap you out because you can't possibly say that. You can only say for your era. See, when people get caught asking the best they ever saw, the greatest they ever saw, or this or that, you have to respectfully say for what you saw. When you say someone's the most skilled, you obviously... And see, the thing about this with LeBron is this. He has skills. But Carl Anthony Towns, if we're going by the last 10 years, LeBron won two rings, the 2016 and the one in the Lakers in the bubble with multiple finals. However, the manipulation is of who he played with. But he was never... When you say someone is the most skilled, you're saying they can do everything at a high level. He can't do everything at a high level. He's not a pure shooter. He makes shots. He's not pure. His passing game and his end IQ. But when people always talk about this IQ thing about how smart he is, I'm like, Dennis Rodman was smart too. Oh, yeah. If you're undersized going up against the likes of Shaquille O'Neal, but if you're also on the perimeter defending people and you're going against the likes of Karl Malone, Shaquille O'Neal, but yet you can defend on the perimeter and you can create tension and throw a team out and steal two games in the finals, that's a high IQ. I've never seen LeBron James do that. I see him take Draymond Green out of a finals game because of it, you know, but I've never seen him do it because of his mental. That's what we're talking about. But, um, you know, people are in tight. When you say one thing, okay, you can say that you perhaps to say the most skilled. It's just like when people are trying to say Kyrie Irving is the most skilled. I'm like, what is your criteria for most skilled? How far back do you go? And what is your, you know, what angle are you talking about? I tend to try to stray away from that. Just like I try to stray away from, you know, I have five guys I can say definitively, and I have about 12, 15 guys I can make an argument for. I can't sit here and tell anybody that, you know, because I can go about what I saw and what I seen or what I even caught in highlights or reflections. However, I'm not going to sit here and disrespect and say that this is definitive because there's a whole lot of perspective, you know. It really is. And there are other criteria. There are other criteria that people will use to defy their logic for right or for wrong. So, and I've seen it being used. LeBron James is in my bottom 10 as one of the greatest players ever. I give him that. He, he, he knows accomplishments and all that. Stop that nonsense about two, three, or four, five, don't mess. Bump that. Stop that three, four, mess. But it's most skill? Are you crazy? I saw guys that had better skills than him. Don't hold it against Magic Johnson, for instance, because he didn't score a lot of points. He could have. He didn't. He was more dangerous scoring two points than LeBron James is scoring 22. Yeah, I see it. What you going to do about it? Because if LeBron James wasn't always trying to chase getting that 10 point a, a game thing, would he be as effective? Would he be the so called all around? And, his, and it's not like he was doing an Oscar Robinson. So stop acting like his high, tri he don't even do the triple doubles no more because Jokic didn't pass him up. And Jokic is a better all around player, if you ask me. LeBron's got athleticism ability, but Jokic is a better all around player, if you ask me. Because Jokic shoot a high percentage inside out, post up, rebound, and assist. Okay, we're going to use that criteria. Yeah, so it all depends on what your argument is. You know, well, it depends on what sales. But we know one thing, Jokic don't sell shoes and he doesn't sell to middle America. He wins all these league MVPs, nobody cares. See, this is where we get into this thing about uh, 
compartmentalizing. That's why Tim Duncan never gets his due because it don't sell. People want the splash and dash. They don't, they lie. Only the diehards care about the ruggedness and the totality. Some people want to be wine and dine and they want to come back at you and say, well, you know, you, you don't sell nothing so you, you, yeah, you got rings, but it don't count. That's what they're trying to tell you. Or it was watered down or well, the paint was dry. So that's two different arguments that Kat is trying to say about LeBron James. I don't agree with neither one of them for the rocket. He's one of the greatest players ever. And he's a skilled player, but he ain't the most of nothing. Both of them, those things, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. You haven't really watched or you bought and paid or, you know, you're lim- you can't possibly tell me his L.A. Laker run would put him in the same conversation for skilled. His Laker career has been anything but skilled. As a matter of fact, his teammate, your former one in Kentucky, Anthony Davis, is more skilled in the Laker era. But he's too scared to step up to LeBron. I wonder why. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share. If you like, hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay real. Stay true. I'm at one time. Peace.